Hey, welcome. We're on air, and we are Pittsburgh for Trump. We're putting in this is our podcast, and those are words that you will hear in November reporting in to see what the numbers will look like. So, before all that, um, we still have some time. And if you go to the chitchattour.com, for those of you who live in Pittsburgh or in Ohio, or if you want to join us, we will. And we are hoping to attend the event at the Weston William Penn. And the tickets are $50. And you can go, again, to chitchattour.com. All right. Um, we're doing this podcast. I wanted to point out some things that maybe you probably all pick up um, while you are watching or paying attention to some of the news stories. Um one, of course, is the Biden campaign and how they're trying to save America or save the soul of America. Um, Trey Gowdy has a podcast on Tuesdays, and that was a very well put statement that was made on his podcast um, uh, that we are losing faith in our institutions. And that's the reason a lot of people voted for Trump because he was an outsider. He wasn't really a, a Washington insider like what you often hear about is who, who gets in and who doesn't. And I noticed like what George W. Bush doesn't want to support him. When you start seeing the clicky types that don't support President Trump, you know we are in for a real battle to uh, November. And it, just take the time to listen to the Biden uh ads about how they're trying to save the middle class and the essential workers. And this is all the same language that has been repeatedly used since the COVID uh, crisis began. And it, it's not typical language. It's not, we want to get back to communicating about what we want to see improve. There are hospitals that have been shut down over the coronavirus, you know, um, it's not normal. And, and, and I'm going to take a part also the ad where Barack Obama had chimed in. And he says these aren't normal days. No one needs to know the obvious. What we want is we want to, this election to be set apart from all elections. I'm going to tell you why all these elections are important. It's about your children. It's about the young children that are in, I would say, you know, 12th grade under, you know, it, it it's their future, okay, that concerns me, okay. After they started shutting the hospitals down, after they started shutting schools down, you we, we were dealing with what they know and what we have been told is a pandemic. There's a lot of people who, and Mike, and, and, and I'm in the camp of President Trump, that it was the Chinese virus. And there's a lot of fake news and there's a lot of fake media. So when we talk about these topics, just so that you know, if anything does, doesn't go along with their narrative, the media that is MS mainstream news, just make sure we point out those things. And, you know, you got the, the answers. You don't need to prove anything, Okay. A lot of people have voted for Trump and will vote for Trump this election because they do not believe in the institutions and they're watching children, now adults, who were under Barack Obama's, I mean, see, they pretty much grew up with the Barack Obama um, era, the Obama era. And now um, I wanted to... Talk about the Sunrise Movement. If you want to study and do some homework about these movements, they are the ones that are behind the fires. They're, they're the ones that support it. Um, they may not actually have you know, lit the flame, but they are a part of this movement that is much like the Hitler Youth. And my greatest concern that I'm going to talk about is that whenever I was living in the Midwest, um, we were in the middle of a major weather event and FEMA was called, and this is during the Barack Obama administration. And back then, you didn't have, you couldn't go into a building to or do anything without permission. And 
the freedoms that have been taken away from Americans gradually, little by little, what what freedom is to the middle class is not what Biden was talking about. He, if anything, the the shutting down the businesses, the shutting down of these companies. When when I was listening to President, excuse me, President Trump, he was talking about making America better again and great again. And the only way we can do that is, and a lot of people believe stimulus is one way. There's a way to drive people back to their jobs and it's 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 going to come down to something as simple as not taking more freedoms away in fact enjoying those freedoms the constitution and it seems like every time there's a constitutional matter that is coming up in the SCOTUS guys I'm going to tell you every time they vote a vote in favor of pro-choice things go wrong Okay, there's a predicted pattern. You know, um, we've been talking about these topics, um, not maybe in the sense we are now, but we are now. Okay, um, we have we we have a God given responsibility, a civic responsibility to protect the young, the elderly, and what you heard is that most of the elderly that was impacted by the coronavirus were victims of it. And guys, the, the things that are going on in Pennsylvania right now are bothersome. Leaders who pulled their daughter, their, their grand grandparents out of grandmother, I'm sorry, p- pulled his mother out. Sorry, I, I messed that up. Okay, pulled his mother out, Levine. Did not protect any of the other seniors, okay? In fact, they brought more people in with COVID. You should be angry at what goes on and how leaders have lied to their constituents, okay? Guys, I hope and pray that we can do more podcasts and talk about the issues. If you don't know about the topic on the Sunrise Movement, Please do something. Research it yourself and help me by supporting our paint ideas by clicking like and sharing to subscribe at Pittsburgh for Trump. This is how we're going to get the information. So we support each other. We educate each other on the important issues that matter to our region and across the United States. Let's make America great again.